Hello everybody and welcome to today's video tutorial. Today, we're going to be showing you how to do these Sam Calder inspired zoom transitions. Today's tutorial is going to be rated 2 stars out of 5 on the difficulty scale. So here we are in HitFilm. I've got two clips here, two sunset clips, one at sea and one of some flowers. I want to do a zoom transition between the two. The first step is to make composite shots out of each of these. So I'm just going to right click on this and hit make composite shot. Just hit OK. I'm just going to do the same to the other one, right click, make composite shot and just hit OK. I want the C sunset clip to be the first one, and it's going to transition into the second one. So I'm just going to go to the very end, where I want the transition to be. I'm just going to open the layer up, open up the transform. I'm just going to hit this circle next to scale, which will create a keyframe. Then I'm going to use the comma and the full stop keys to go frame by frame, 7 frames back. Then I'm going to set the scale to be 125. Now between the two keyframes, it'll move from zoomed in to zoomed out. I'm just going to do pretty much the same thing to this one, except there's going to be some differences. I'm just going to open this up, go into transform, I'm just going to set the scale to be zoomed in to begin with, and I'm going to hit the keyframe button right there. Once again, I'm just going to go 7 frames in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I'm now going to hit this to be 100. Between the two, it'll now zoom out. You'll notice though that it's a very constant kind of zoom out. It goes from zoomed in and then just straight to the zoomed out. I want it to be more smooth than that. And so for the second clip here, these keyframes I'm just going to set them to be smooth in. Just hit that button right there. And now you'll notice that it starts off zooming out pretty quickly and then it goes slower and slower. I'm just going to go into here Select these keyframes and then make them smooth out because it's going in the opposite direction. But even this smoothness isn't enough for me. So I'm just going to open up the value graph here. Make sure you've selected scale. I'm just going to zoom in so we can see our keyframes properly. And then I'm just going to drag this all the way to the right. That way it's even smoother and the value doesn't change until even later. I'm just going to do the same thing here. Open up the value graph, zoom in all the way at the beginning and I'm just going to drag this all the way down here. Then I need to turn on motion blur for each of these layers. So you'll notice that here it's quite a jittery kind of movement. I'm just going to hit this button right here to turn on motion blur which will enable motion blur and have it look more realistic. I'm just going to do the same here. Now I'm just going to go back into the editor and put these clips together. I'm just going to get the C first and then I'm going to get the flowers. And now when I play it back, we have a nice Sam Calder inspired zoom transition. And that's the effect. Of course you can change all the settings that I told you about to make your own kind of effect, but those are some settings that I figured out worked well for me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and share it with your friends if you think they'll be interested. Of course, if you want to, subscribe for more content, and you can also follow my Twitter at ShinyFilms to get updates about my videos even before they come out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay shiny. Bye.